Hi, I'm Jen from House One, and today I'm showing how to build a mobile kids bike rack. Today I'm sharing how we created a storage solution for our kids bikes without putting a single hook or hole in our walls. This is a perfect solution if you have a multi-purpose garage like we do and you need to keep your parking options flexible. And it's also pretty nice to be able to roll it out of the way and clean up after the tires go through any mud. To create your own, choose from our two designs depending on the size bike you need to store. Cut the two by four pieces to size using one of our cut lists. Mark the location and spacing of the boards on the horizontal base and back pieces. Transfer the lines to the inside face of each board and then pre-drill two holes at each connection point. Lay out the pieces of the base so that the ends run long beyond the back of the base. Assemble the parts with glue and screws. Lay out the parts of the back wall to create slots for each bike's front tire. Connect the pieces with glue and screws. Now connect the assembled base to the back. Position the angled support along each side with the miter cut against the back wall. Mark the front angles and then cut to fit with a miter saw. Attach the angled support to the back wall and base with glue and screws. Attach two locking casters to the underside of each corner of the base, and then flip the bike rack upright. To insert a bike, set the bike tire into the base, and slide the front tire into the one of the slots. If you're using the cut list for larger bikes, you'll notice that we added a back rail for smaller bikes to rest horizontally, while the larger bikes rest more upright and in the slots. I hope you enjoyed this project. For more easy woodworking and DIY projects, visit the House One channel on thisoldhouse.com. I'm Jen Largest, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. This Old House has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button to make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.